another vlog. Why am I doing a vlog this week? What's going on in my life? Uh, I have a bunch of shows. Your boy's got nine shows this week. I'm excited, I'm feeling good, and I'm ready, to, I'm ready to get this work in. You know what I'm saying? I don't love the way I said that, but it's not, I'm not gonna edit it out because this is the real shit. How are you guys doing? <laughs> hey guys from Honduras, where the fuck you from, bro? <laughs> oh, here the, the, the fucking frat guy's back. What up, dog? <laughs> yep, it's exactly what I expected you to do. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna do some white guy dance that he saw on TikTok right when he walks up here, and he did it. That was so dope. Did we go aw to that? Why was that an aw moment? <laughs> we all were like, aw. It's endearing. It's endearing. <laughs> That's like the biggest insult I've ever heard. <laughs> it's endearing. If I fucking broke down a boob and some other dude went, that was cute, I'd be like, I'm fucking driving home. This is the worst day of my life. What's your guys' names? Okay. Of course you're Kyle. I should have guessed. Uh, I don't know why I even asked. Do <laughs> you guys have dogs? Anyone have? Do you guys have dogs? You guys raise your hand. What kind of dog do you have? A Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu. See that? I like that size of a dog because people get fucking big ass dogs. Do you ever go to someone's house and there's like a fucking horse walking around? You're like, what is this thing? <laughs> Good body too. Why do these dogs have better bodies than I do? He's got fucking deltoids. Got the V's right here. I'm like, bro, why are you so sexy? He's fucking yoked. <laughs> he's a rescue. No, he's in the mafia. Like, <laughs> like you did, I had a dog sit this fucking dog too. I had a dog sit this fucking monster. You know, you know how people will make Instagrams for their dogs. You know how people do that, bro. This dog was so big it made me an Instagram account. <laughs> Instead of like Timmy the Frenchie, it was like Will the Jew. <laughs> Dog stuff words. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So I'm back from Harvell's. Um, <clears throat> Fuck me. All drive home, I've been doing this. <clears throat> so I had one of those sets that, that just made me so, just so fulfilled and happy. It was a really small crowd. There was probably only like, I want to say like maybe 15 people there. And I went up there with like a bunch of kind of new ideas. From, from the jump, I felt so comfortable and just like locked in. On what was happening so in the moment so chill and 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 i did almost like 20 minutes and, and just and had a blast the whole time i don't know what it was i, I it just everything kind of lined up so i was just i had such a great fun set and like all the new ideas pretty much worked to an extent i feel like i brought this group of 15 random people and just we were on we were just in this little thing together kind of i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but it just it just things just kind of something clicked in my brain, where I just had one of my favorite sets I've had in, in, in a while, honestly. So, I mean, what a great start to this week. <laughs> I'm so excited. We'll get at least silver, like every time, I think so. Uh, every car is here, I think. <laughs> Stop dancing. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right, weird, weird. It's weird in here. It is very weird in here. What do you guys' names? What do we got? Isaiah. Isaiah? Grant. Grant? Isaiah Grant. That was the whitest names I could have picked. That's crazy. Isaiah and Grant. That's cool. What do you, uh, how do you guys know each other? Uh, through work. Through work? Oh, okay, cool. Where do you guys work? We're in the Navy. You're in the Navy? Fucking damn. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is that, did I do it right? Or is that the most disrespectful thing I could have ever done? I don't really know. That was either spot on or they're going to kill me after this. This was going to hook you up with my mom but you're too young for that. And I was like, like, oh, that's so sweet of you. What, did you guys get into a fight before the show? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know each other? Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally, you walked in and she was like, I can't believe you ordered a fucking Corona. <laughs> Also, the fucking broskies over here. I mean, you guys are hilarious. I mean, do you guys surf here? I mean, you guys look ridiculous. Do you laugh, bro? You gotta make this laugh. Oh, come on, bro. That's too easy. You guys are fucking real right now all night. You're like, who the fuck is this guy right here? Who's this Keanu Reeves motherfucker right next to me? Joey, I, now I get why you moved over there, because this guy's laugh is ridiculous. Now I get it. 
What are, you, what are your guys' names here? What are you, what's your name? Noah. Noah, of course. What's your name? <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> you guys got you guys got jobs? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> so Noah, you got a job? Uh, what do you do? I was a commercial fisherman last fall summer. A commercial fisherman? Yeah, I'm, I'm unemployed right now. Yeah, I know, I know. I figured. I figured that part. That's not the part I was worried about. Am I getting abducted? The hell's that? Um, and then Casey, what do you what do you do for work? Man, I didn't know. <laughs> I know. I was ready for that. I was ready for be like, I don't know, man. I'm just here to fucking chill. I'm just here. <laughs> and wait, Casey, is this your is this your girl, or are you just a, a friend? No, he's my boyfriend. He's your okay, cool. That's what's up. What's what's your name? You're Bella? Okay. Hi, Bella. That's my boyfriend, Casey. What does your boyfriend do? Fucking not much. <laughs> How long have you known these guys for? Five years. You've been for five years? Damn, that's what's up. What do you, what do, you do for? You seem like you, you have like a job. <laughs> You've got like job energy, which is very normal <laughs> to people to have, but these guys is like, alright. <laughs> what do you do, Joey, for work? I work in marketing. You work in marketing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What do you, uh, what do you, what's your company? What kind of company do you market for? So it's uh, pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical? Nice, man. What the fuck are you doing with these guys? <laughs> How do you know these guys? Do you know them like for like what, high school or some shit? Or what's up? They're brothers. They're, oh, you guys are brothers? Oh, fuck! Deception. It ends later that class period in a school shooting. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got sunscreen on the table? That's the like, whitest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I don't know, man. These lights are pretty bright. Better bring a sunscreen. <laughs> what are you guys' names here? What's your name, bro? Uh, Alec. Uh, Sorry, what? <laughs> Are you about to throw up? What was that? I was going said, uh. I'm sorry, man. What's it? Alec. Alec. Oh, Alec. You just forgot to see. Oh, I hate when that happens. What's your name, bro? Rory. Rory? Man, where the fuck are you guys from? UK. UK. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought she said you a joke, huh? I've been fucking busy guys the whole time. I was just saying, well, I don't know, I gotta beat up my three British guys after. <laughs> they just didn't beat me up, they just spray you with their sunscreen. That'll teach you not to fuck with us. So I'm done with the night. Man, was it a good one. Well, all right, well, I guess the show's over. <laughs> the first show at Madhouse, I got there and there was four people in the audience. This is a big room. And I was like, oh boy. And then about 20 more people came in, which was great. But man, that crowd sucked. I had to do 20 minutes to them and I had fun because I'm in a pretty good headspace right now. So I'm not really that like worried. Um, but yeah, they were, it was rough. <laughs> and then from there, I went to this place called Candies, which is arguably one of the best shows in San Diego, if not the, um, it's in this basement. It's, I've been doing it for years and I, it's just, it's like the perfect crowd for me. It's just like bros and like their chicks. It was just so like, those are like my people. And uh, I probably did 13, 14 minutes on stage. I did like 10 minutes on just these people alone. And it was just, it felt so fucking good just to do a whole set, just riffing. And then uh, and then I went back to Madhouse because they're doing an open mic in the small room. There's two rooms, one's big and one's small. No shit, I just fucking said that. So I went and, and the open mic's in the small room and, and what I've been hearing about the open mic is that it's packed with like real people. Small rooms are so amazing. When you get 30 people packed into a small space, it can be fire. And it was, I walked in and it was just like electric. It's just like another show, basically a third show. And I, everyone had three minutes. I was talking to all these comics, all these buddies that I know beforehand. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do on stage. I was like, I don't know. It was just the, just the cherry on top of, of such a good night. Like, I just feel so happy and confident. And I didn't want to record this later because I really wanted to like capture like a kind of a raw feeling and like a raw moment of kind of the high you get from this shit. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah.
This is Very only... nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're giving tigers COVID, you're fucking living your life wrong. <laughs> Hell yeah, what's up, boys? You guys are short, too. That's fucking, you guys are really chilling, huh? You got like a puffer jacket and shorts. You're really the most indecisive person I've ever seen in my life. It's getting a little awkward now. I, I did announce like three times I have a fiance. Hi, San Diego. What's up? What's up? It's good to see you. You have good energy, man. I like you. Do you have a microphone? You're loud as fuck. You mic'd up right now? Are you next? Are you <laughs> He starts doing crowd work on me. He's like, nice hoodie, fucking idiot. I'm like, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? 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 This is Inception? What's happening? What's your name, bro? Jesse. Jesse. Nice, man. I, I wonder what kind of job you have with that. With that, when you have a lot of confidence, a lot of good voice, what's it? What do you do for work? I'm a programmer. A programmer. Uh, like, like computer stuff. That's right. Nice. Uh, feels like not the best profession with that confidence, but um, you're just like it's a quiet confidence, sir. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that scared me when you said that. <laughs> 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 Quiet confidence, you're just programming like, if they only knew. <laughs> you, you got a call, you got to do a Zoom call, you're like, finally my time to shine. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jesse, you fucking so excited for the meeting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, which is, this is, we're firing you, Jesse, we're firing you. I don't know why you're so excited. This is the meeting that you're fired at. We have the gym guys over here. What's up, boys? Fucking retired UFC fighter. That's awesome, man. Nice to see you. <laughs> Johnny, what do you, uh, are you, are you an athlete? you do anything with athletics? Or what do you, what do you do? Uh, I'm a former fighter and a gym owner. Former fighter, gym owner? I fucking nailed that shit. Wow, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> that was a 100% a joke, but I fucking super nailed it, and I'm not happy about it, because now I'm scared. <laughs> Damn it, what, uh, what fighting uh, do you do? Uh, Bakersfield Combat Club. Bakersfield Combat Club. Wow, that's wow. wow. Uh, you have a fan over there. That's good. <laughs> the only fan of anything Bakersfield related. <laughs> so you can choke me out real quick, basically. I'll be such a cool closer. That's how I ended my set. He just choked me out, and they just fucking carried me off. Just like... <laughs> Johnny will do my Jesse will do my obituary. <laughs> he was a great comedian. <laughs> At one of the funerals, like he's really loud. This is crazy. It's like really loud. He must be a programmer. I would like to get a little more into like the kind of manly shit like that, like being uh, ripped or whatever. I could be ripped. I have a hoodie on. You know what I mean? I could be. <laughs> I'm, <not>. um, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm just very comfortable with like who I am. You know what I mean? Straight dudes are so like annoying. They're like, yeah, you know, I'm a fucking Bakersfield. You know, they're like. Yeah. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm a little bit high. Uh, I've had horrible allergies all day, so I'm kind of just all over the place. Uh, I had three shows. First one was at the uh, comedy store, La Jolla, and I was a since I was an out of towner, I was like a pop in. So I decided when I got to go up, which is great. So I went up second, and the set was uh, fine. The crowd was was still getting warmed up and they weren't like really like ready, I feel like yet. I did this new joke about dogs, uh, forgot my new favorite part of it that really gets a big laugh and that, that really fucking pissed me off. And then I ran and Kaylee was such a beast throughout this whole thing. She drove me everywhere. It was so nice of her and she like would drop me off, go find parking, like that type of shit. Just really just a fucking teammate. And got the laugh factory, she let me off. I walk in, never seen the place. It's Oh my God, it's perfect. As a comedy club, the Laugh Factory San Diego is perfect. Low ceilings, downstairs, in a basement, packed in. I mean, it, it's just fucking perfect. And overall, I was, I was so happy with how I did. To my knowledge, there was no Laugh Factory people there. You know, the best case scenario was like the Laugh Factory, like uh, uh, Booker is there from, from LA. He happens to be there sometimes. And so, so doing a spot in that Laugh Factory in San Diego, you're like, oh, Never know, right? And yeah, and, and then and then drove home. So, oh no, no, idiot! I went. We walked across the street to Madhouse, and I uh, did the mic again. Another just fire little room. It was so fun. So I drove home, 
stopped at in and out and, and we did it. San Diego in the books. So it's Friday night. I have a show at Ha Ha at 10 and I got a call earlier from uh, Jack Jr. who basically runs Ha Ha. And he told me, which he never calls me. So he called me and I was like, all right, I guess I'm probably off the show, <laughs> right? Can't be good. And he calls me and says, um, hey, so uh, don't tell anyone, but Kevin Hart is gonna drop in tonight. So he's just like, you know, we're probably just gonna cut people's time down. Um, and there's a possibility you may get bumped, which comedy terms, that means like you, you're, 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 you're off the show, essentially. If a big name comes in, that's a very, that, that, that usually will happen. People will get like bumped off the show. I don't think it's 100% that he's coming, but I'm, I'm gonna put a nice jacket on. That video has 216 thumbs up on the video, right? You are the comfiest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. You got sweats and flip flops on. And Ben Gay? Like the cream? That was the last thing I expected you to say right there. Yeah, he's got Icy Hot also. What? I don't even know. You got Ben Gay rubbed on you right now? It's like a birth control patch? What are we talking about? You hurt yourself? What happened? Nah, you just like wearing it for fashion. <laughs> Prevented it. They're like, oh man, I could laugh really hard and hurt my back. I don't know. <laughs> you keep going, get a neck brace. You're like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, good to see you. <laughs> what did you get? A car accident? No, man, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> you have a job? What do you do? You work in an office. Hey, man, keep it more vague. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like I'm a comedian. It's like, what do you do? I work in a building. <laughs> Salsa clubs. Salsa club. Oh, sorry. Should I stop talking because you're recording? <laughs> no. I wonder if the wave would work in other situations. You know what I mean? Someone like, what's someone yelling out? What's who? What? Tom, Tom from MySpace? What the fuck are you talking about? Did I miss something? Does that make sense to you guys? Oh, I look like him. Cool, thanks, that's really helping this show out. I was like, there's no way she's just gonna say I look like him, right? There's no fucking way that's it. And that was it. Thanks for stopping the show for that, I really appreciate it. So the shows last night in Pasadena were uh, pretty great. It was two shows. The first one at seven was like packed. I'm talking like 120 people maybe. It was fucking packed. And they were and at first they were really loud and rowdy. And luckily I got to go late. So by the time I went up, they mostly settled down. And man, I had a great set. Like felt so good about it. Felt so just in the pocket, calm, just new shit was working. And then the next one, everyone was silent. So I'm thinking again, like, oh, here we go. Crushed with the rowdy crowd. Give me the silent crowd. And they were like, okay. I had like a good set, you know, uh, some big pops, but like they, they would laugh like this. Ha <laughs> ha. Either way, it was, uh, it, was, it was dope. And they're in Pasadena. I didn't have to drive goddamn three hours for once to do shows. Yay. <laughs> All right, yo, so this next comic that I'm bringing in, it's one of my favorite comics in L.A. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This dude is super hilarious. He tours all over the country. You guys are in for a treat. Give it up for my man, Will Burkhart, ladies and gentlemen. I got a notepad here. Who's this? Is this, is this, was this yours? No? Let's see what it is. <laughs> it just says, it just says, Meredith. <laughs> it's not even spelled right. It says, Meredith. <laughs> Is this a ransom note? Should we rescue Meredith? <laughs> what a weird note. Let's see what, what if it just says only women names? Just random. <laughs> Lauren, fucking Cassandra, they're all spelled wrong. Lil Rowren. Who's Lil Rowren? <laughs> Guys, listen. We gotta find Meredith. Okay, listen. We gotta find her. I don't know where she is. Oh, there's more shit on it. Wait, hold on. It says send email. Good start. I don't know if it's to Meredith, but send email. <laughs> Follow up, Misha. Don't know what that means. Bro, this guy's dyslexic for sure. It says, text Granums. Text 
text Granums? Who's Granums? Is that his grandma? Woo! Yeah. Craigslist, and then it just says, read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, day one, legs, workout routine, perfect. <laughs> Six by 12, squats, 135. It's not bad, maybe I shouldn't fuck with this guy. 135 is actually not bad. Hey man, why don't you work on your fucking spelling first before you work on your body, how about that? <laughs> so I'm back, all done with the show. It was a fucking blast. The whole thing with the notebook was so goddamn fun. I'm so glad I took that risk. But yeah, so that, that concludes this week, man. Uh, it's been a hell of a week. I can't believe how many, this is the most shows I've done in a week, you know, in a while. And uh, and I gotta be honest, man, I've, I've, I know I've kind of said this throughout the week in little moments, but I've, I've, I've just never felt better. You know, you, it's, it's crazy just seeing, seeing kind of the work pay off. It's, it's just amazing. It just feels like in these moments, at least this week, I kind of feel like, oh, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing this right. That's a beautiful feeling. And I'm just being honest, because that's what this is. This is just me. This is the raw shit that is on my mind. And um, I don't know, man, I'm just really happy. And, and, and this business can be a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. And, but man, I just feel good. Here's to a fucking great week. Like, like the title says, I'm feeling locked in. The next vlogs I think will be pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going back on the road, opening for my buddy, Michael Blaustein. Uh, we're doing a whole Southern run like Nashville, Charlotte, Raleigh, Atlanta. It's gonna be fucking crazy. The, the travel vlog aspect of this is coming back. So anyways, here's to continuing your, I can't care. Here's to continue good firing them. Perfect. Right